What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to take database tables and load them into pandas data frames, as well as how to convert pandas data frames into database tables. So let us get right into it. Now for this video, we're obviously going to need to have pandas installed. So if you don't have pandas installed, you need to open up your command line and you need to type pip or pip3 depending on your operating system and installation. Uh, in my case, pip install pandas in order to install the module. And once you have it installed, you can import it in your Python script by saying import pandas and we usually give it the alias PD. So I think most of you guys will already know this. Uh, in addition to that, we're also going to make use of SQLite 3. So we need a database that we can work with because as I already said in the introduction, we're going to use pandas to load data from the database and store it into a data frame. So we're going to convert the database table structure to a pandas data frame structure and vice versa. So we're also going to take pandas data frames and load them or write them into SQL tables. Uh, and for that, we're going to need a database. So we're going to say here import SQLite three, uh, which is a file based database. And we're going to start by creating some simple sample data. So we're going to just have a simple people table, and we're going to have name, social security number and age or something like that. And then we're going to take that data, we're going to add some instances, we're going to take those instances and load them into a pandas data frame. For the first step, then we're going to create a pandas data frame with new instances, and we're going to write those into the database. So let's start by defining the connection to be SQLite three connect, it's going to connect to a file, let's say my DB dot DB. So in the case of SQLite three, this will either create the file if it doesn't exist or open the file, which is the database if it exists. In our case, it doesn't exist. So it's going to create a new file. And in order to do something with that connection, we need to create a cursor. So we need to say cur equals connection dot cursor. This will allow us to execute statements to query data and so on. And uh, what we want to do first is want to say cur dot execute, and we're going to have a multi line string here, just a simple create table, if not exists, people, and we're going to have the following values inside of it SSN for social security number, this will be an integer, let's say, um, and it will be the primary key. And then we're going to say we want to have a name, which is a var char 255 and not null. And then we want to also have an H, which is the integer, it can be null as well. So a very simple database table, we're going to now also say cur dot execute. And we're going to say, insert into people values. And then we're going to add, I mean, actually, we need to first define here what we're adding social security number name h like this. So insert into people SSN name h values. And here we're going to now pass uh, a bunch of um, actually, we don't need these parentheses here. We just do it like this. So we're going to enter the values. Uh, one, for example, is going to be Mike and Mike is 25 years old. And Mike should use single quotations, otherwise Mike will not have a name. So we're going to copy that and you can choose whatever you want here as a sample data. So 90, something like this, something like this, something like this. We're going to have Anna, we're going to have Bob, we're going to have John, and we're going to have, uh, I don't know, Stan, something like this. Then Anna is going to be 35, Bob is going to be 76, John is going to be 55, and Stan is going to be 18. So those are the sample values to now commit those to the database, we just have to say con dot commit, this will then be written to the database. So I can already just run this file here. So I can just execute this. And you can see we have this database here. So I can double click it, it opens in PyCharm, the, um, the, the database here, and I can just say select everything from people, then I can run this and you can see as a result set down here, I get the table with the name age, social security number um, of the individual people. So that's the sample data. Now let's go ahead and take that just make the query, give me all the people as we did just right now in the database explorer, 
give me all the people, all the instances from the people table. And instead of just showing them, we want to store them in a pandas data frame. You saw that the format is compatible. We have a primary key in, uh, in pandas. We also have an index. Uh, we had a name column and H column. We can also have columns in pandas. So all we need to do actually to take that now and turn it into a pandas data frame is we need to say SQL equals and then PD dot read SQL query. So we take the query um, and we need to provide here uh, what we want to have. So in my case, this is going to be select everything from people, you can of course also have multiple tables, you can have uh, joins and you can have uh, filters. So you can say, okay, where age is less than uh, 50 or something, and then you'll only get some of those. Um, but once you have the query, what you do is you also specify the connection. So what happens here is you have the SQL equals PD read SQL query, this query applied on that connection. And in order to get the actual data frame, we now need to say DF equals, and then PD data frame and the input for the data frame will be the SQL object that we have here. Uh, and we're going to also define the column name. So we're going to say the columns are SSN name and H. So I think I will have to delete the database because otherwise I'm going to enter the same values here. Uh, again, what's the problem here? Why can't I delete the database? Is it still open somewhere? Let's see. Okay, I'm not able to delete it. So let's just go ahead and change the name. So we have a new database, new db db. And what now happens is again, I create the table, I insert the values, and then I commit the changes, then we get all the people and we turn them into a pandas data frame. So in order to see that this works, we're going to say print df. And I hope my PC is not lagging. I hope it's just PyCharm. Uh, when I run this now, we should see a pandas data frame having the same values inside of the data frame. And as you can see, this is actually the case. So we have the social security number the name h, and we have an index here, we can also of course, go ahead and say something like df dot set index, and we can set the index to SSN with the in place keyword argument to true so that we don't have to reassign this. Um, now let's see if I can delete this one. Okay, I can delete this one. Um, and now you can see that the SSN is actually the index or the primary key. And this is the pandas data frame uh, version of our database table we can also now do the opposite. So what I can do here now, let's say here, comment new section, or actually, let's call the section pandas to SQL. Um, what we can do here is we can just say new data frame. So new DF equals PD dot data frame. And of course, you can also load that from a CSV file, you don't have to create it manually. I'm going to use here a simple dictionary, I'm going to say SSN is equal to something something, something. So three people here, then I'm going to say name is going to be uh, fox, lion, and cat. I know those are animals, but we're going to say that people have these names. Um, and we're going to say age is equal to 50, 35, 56. So this is now a pandas data frame with new data, and we can take this data frame and read it, uh, or write it into the database. So we can just use um, a, a specific method of this data frame to turn it into SQL code and thus into a database table. So all we need to do here is we need to say new underscore df dot to underscore SQL. So basically, the opposite of read SQL query is to SQL. And all we need to do here is we need to provide a table name people in our case, we need to say that the connection is the connection object. And we need to say what happens if the database table already exists. So in our case, the people table already exists, because we already wrote some data into it, and we already created it. In this case, um, it could also have a conflict if you don't provide a keyword. So it would say, okay, the, ta uh, the table already exists. So I cannot write anything to the table. But if you uh, specify here, if exists equals append, this is going to take the data and append it to the existing table. And we also want to say index equals false, so that we don't have any problems. And when I now delete this database, and when I rerun the script now, uh, first of all, we can see that um, we still get the data from the database up here. 
But then if I double click on the database, I open it up here, I say select everything, let me just zoom in a little bit, select everything from people, and I run this, you will see that I actually have these new instances, lion, fox and cat inside of the table here as well. So this is how you take database tables and load them into pandas data frames and vice versa. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.